really go buzz either. Oh my god, this is like this crazy discussion that's been going on for a little bit, and I'm gonna jump right to it. Okay, it's about drunk drivers. Okay, here we go. Dude, they just had they had something on the news too about a bunch of ducks running across the freeway. Damn. Out here? Yeah, no, somewhere. I don't think I don't know if it was out here. I'm not sure. But Dude, there, I was about to say there was like no way for duck out here what? Was some guy got behind somebody on the frereway and uh, he was dry the heat video he like, got his camera oh yeah 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 I saw that I saw that I saw that when I went to go people off the road and finally we got to light the dude fucking got out and said dude get the fuck out of the car and he was like he was drinking vodka damn like drinking guzzling vodka right there and he, dude, I'm telling you he was it, she, he followed him for a long time and the dude was straight up an, a, a tragedy waiting to happen I so oh, remember that that was on the news when uh, when we were at the uh, uh, Quest Star Diagnostics where I had to get my blood drawn today. Uh huh. And the guy stopped him, but it was, the cops said it. yeah, because they were the talking. The guy videotaped the whole entire yeah. thing. No, not the whole thing, but he was he did start videotaping until after he followed Bruno Wall. Then he started videotaping him, and it, but when he went up to him and told him to get out of the car, if the guy could have gotten said on oh, hell with you and took off driving drunk going really fast and either kill himself or kill someone else the cops said it wasn't really a good idea he said they should he should have just followed him and called the police but he got out and tried to but he said i had to do something you know i mean you know if you was following and watch him kill somebody or something that would have been terrible Las Vegas, the city of sin, and drunk drivers. This is 24-hour town. You can drink as much as you want when you yeah. want all day. You all, all day long. Nothing closes around here. So, most places where you guys yeah, live, don't you know. excuse nothing. You could stock up on liquor and drive. Well, it. still, I liquor you know. Last year for three months in California or anywhere else. There's but no whatever, whatever. For a motherfucker driving, when you're drunk, especially. Of that. course, there's, 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 there, there's no excuse. I'm just telling people, I know I mean, that sure. nothing closes around here. They should have special, especially the liquors are the bars. The stores are bars. Roads and freeway, a little dry driving course that drunk drivers I think that's what they should do they should put them all in some island somewhere where they can all just drive around and do whatever <laughs> they want and kill each other <laughs> drive around drunk smash Dude, crash and I made that like a, a, a like, drunk and, and like put that on TV or something instead of putting them in <laughs> fucking pr jail like that a reality show on I know right taxpayers the real crash test dummies right for a year. real life I crash test dummies that's, that's what you should be called yeah. Yeah. Oh. Islands, and put them all on an island like somewhere, all the people that like to beat on their wives, put them all in one little spot and let them all beat on each other. And the drunk drivers, they should put, put them on out here. Go ahead and make up your own rules, y'all. Do whatever you want. But you can't stay over here now because you can't. And let them live by themselves and go gather coconuts or something. <laughs> and why should why should we have to pay to feed them for a year because they couldn't fucking be a, a mature enough to know that if you're going to drink, that you shouldn't be driving. Exactly. Why don't you exactly. leave your car at home if you know you're going out drinking? Give somebody your keys before you even take your first drink. Mm. Okay, I got. I'm gonna drink some beer here. Take the keys. You're the designated driver. Or uh, leave them at home, or drop them in a mailbox, or something. You know? Yeah. I mean, you know, they. they I mean, you, you. When you're not okay, when you're drunk, yeah, you you don't make decisions like you should. But when when you first start to drink, and you know you're going to start drinking. You're smart enough to make a, a mature decision. And if you don't want to be mature and you act, want, don't want to grow up and you want to act like a child, then go live on an island somewhere and let them all live together and just go ahead and smash and crash and kill and, you know, whatever they want to do. Mm -hmm. You know? Get, well, go ahead, you know? That's the way you want to live? Go live. Right there. That's your little spot. And make them stay there and make them fucking take care of yourself. Plant some corn and, you know? Shoot, slaughter a few chickens or something. That, you know, take care they're of most likely run over the chickens being drunk divers. Yeah. Well, who, can, who cares? Well, now with their dinner, they play like roadkill for dinner. That's <laughs> shit. Why should we have to sit there and serve them their food three times a day and put, take care of them and put roofs over their heads and pull out their teeth for free and give them whatever, you know? Why the hell should we have to, why should taxpayers have to pay for them motherfuckers that want to fucking do that? Three times, you already haven't figured out your lesson, you're not going to. Three strikes, you're out. If you're not going to kill them, which that's a little drastic to kill somebody for being a drunk driver, put them all on an island somewhere and say, go ahead, you know, buy a car, get you guys can drive around and do whatever. Drink here, you want do it, live over there, but you got to stay there, you know? And how they going to keep them there? Put some electricity in the water around the... Uh, edges of the island, you know. Mm -hmm. and anybody tries to get past there, put like danger, like 
uh, a fence too, because I'm sure big ass electric fence. Yeah, electric fence. danger, high and, voltage. And if they get pa you pass over to a certain point, and that uh, uh, they'll get electrocuted. They probably wouldn't even realize what's going on though with the whole entire electric fence, but with, with them being drunk as oh, they believe are. Believe me, I don't give a shit whether you're drunk or not. Electricity's still gonna fry your ass if you fucking get, you know. Enough. They'll probably be like, they'll probably touch the fence, go and go be, begin like all, all electric, going, they'll ooh, going, that tickles. Yeah, that tickles. <laughs> You want to drive around like a, a, an idiot? Fine, go ahead. Won't you, you know, all the drunk drivers can just drive around and smash and crash into each other. You know, they'll subject the rest of us to it. And why should we have to feed them and house them and take care of them after they done did some three friggin' times? This is the third time now. You can't figure it out. One, two, three. That's it. Bye bye. Mm. See you later. You go. You know, they can think for themselves. They're grown. They're old enough to drive a car and go drink some booze. I'm sure they're old enough to, you know, figure out how to take care of themselves, plant some food, or, you know, throw a f rock and not. If all they care about is alcohol or whatever, they're not even going to worry about no Put damn a worm food. by the end of a, you know, a fish hook. Oh, believe me, eventually they'll have to eat or they'll die. Which, you know, that's their choice. I mean, look what they're doing to their liver. They, they, if they're gonna put a worm in the hook, okay. What's that? What's that one alcohol, alcohol. drink? What's that one alcohol drink that, that has the worm in the bottle? Uh, it's called tequila. Mezcal? It's, a, it's a type of tequila. Okay, so so if they're gonna if, 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 if they're gonna go 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 fishing for food, they're probably gonna use that worm that's in the bottle. Probably. <laughs> Is well, it alive or not? I'm not matter. actually It'll, sure. You know, because sometimes certain fish won't bite something unless it's moving. That's why you gotta put a wiggly worm on the end of it. But some fish will bite like just a. You know, like a rubbery thick looking thing. It depends on the fish. Okay. <clears throat> there are so many drunk drivers out here it's in Vegas with uh, this stuff being a 24 hour city. Like all over the news, all over the time. And a lot of them, they don't even get discovered or get displayed on the news, but this one was a little bit unique because somebody, uh, it was a, um, a citizen's arrest type of incident with this last drunk driver. But anyway, this was our standpoint on uh, drunk driving, kind of an interesting conversation that kind of branched off from the news frame books. If you lost, watched the last video. So, um, you never seen it? Have you seen it? Anyway, yeah, YouTube, I will That's talk to you guys later, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Yeah.